Hello, hello, hello. I hope you are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world watching and listening to this video. Many of you have asked me, hey, teacher Will, what books have you read in your life that you've enjoyed? You wanted to know a book list, books that I've enjoyed over the course of my life. Well, you know what? This video is for you because I, in this video, am going to share a book that had a profound impact on my particular life. And in, in actuality, I had the opportunity to meet this person while in college. I actually took a couple classes with him. This person is known or world renowned throughout the world. He is known to be a literary critic. He is known to be a linguist and also an anthropologist. Now, you want to know who this person is? Well, you know what? In honor of Black History Month or African American History Month, I will let the younger generation, someone else, tell you who this person is. Check it out. I have been a band searching my was born in British Guiana in 1935 and passed away in New Jersey in 2009. Between that time, he was a literary critic, a linguist, and an anthropologist, and he has made a name in all three fields. In his most famous book, They Came Before Columbus, Ivan Van Sertima documented evidence of the presence and legacy of Africans in ancient America far before Christopher Columbus ever left Spain. Dr. Ivan Van Sertima. He wrote a book that talked about they came before Columbus. What is this book about? What's the value? Does it have any value? Well, they came before Columbus, Dr. Ivan Van Sertima basically talked about the African presence in America, whether that's North America, South America, Central America, before Christopher Columbus. Typically, when most people or the history books will show that Christopher Columbus discovered America, even though there were already people there, but that's another video in itself. So they came before Columbus talks about the African presence in the Americas. And what's interesting about it is, is that he conducted research. He looked at various different information out there. And what was new for me was, as an example, let me give you two particular examples. Example number one, there are pyramids in parts of the Americas, for example, in Central America. And what was interesting is, based on Dr. Ivan Van Sertima's research, it showed that the way the pyramids were constructed from an astrological perspective, it had the same measurements as the pyramids in Egypt. And I was like, wow, I never knew that, as one example. Another example, what was interesting, talking about the African presence in the America was, some of the monuments, statues, looked very similar to those people in Africa. I was like, what? Did you realize? I didn't realize that, you know, supposedly, again, Christopher Columbus discovered America in 1492 BCE, and yet Dr. Ben Sertima's research showed that there was an African presence in America in the 800 BCE time period. And that for me, I was like, wow, it was knowledge that I was not aware of. And so I recommend that you read this book for various different reasons. Number one, if you're a history person, you like history, then I recommend you read the book. And one of the things that I've noticed is, is that for me, the more I read about history, whether it's my particular history or history that I identify with, but more importantly, history about someone else's experience on this earth, their life journey, their perspective as it relates to the world, the more I study someone else's history and not just my own, 
for me is the more human that I become because I have an appreciation and understanding and empathy for someone else's culture. Reason number two to read this book. Well, if you are such where you want to be exposed to different vocabulary and a different culture, then read this book. And reason number three, for those of you that want to improve your speaking, level up in your speaking, remember there is a direct correlation between the more a person reads is the better speaker that they become because it introduces you to different ways of thinking. It enhances critical thinking. It and you have the opportunity to learn new vocabulary. So read, because reading is fundamental. And for those of you that might not be familiar with this book that came before Columbus, what evidence do you have? An African presence in America before Christopher Columbus discovered it? You don't believe me? You don't have to believe me. But check this out. So there you have it. They came before Columbus by Dr. Ivan Van Sertema. One of the books that I have read that changed my life that had an influence on me. Because again, history for me, whether it's my history or someone else's history, is very important. Because ultimately I believe unless a person knows their history, they might repeat the same thing in the future. And just history for me gives a foundation, a, a framework that no, certainly I can't go back in the past, but by understanding the past will lead me to live a more productive life now and hopefully in the future. For those of you that don't know me, this teacher will, welcome to hopefully the place where you and I learn together. Click on that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so that when I drop a video, you are made aware of it. I will continue to share books that i found to be of value in my life. And remember, re keep, keep, keep reading. Until next time, let me know if you buy the book. Let me know if you've heard of the book before. And our theme for this year is courage. To do something that frightens you, to have the boldness, the daring, and nerve to achieve your goals this year in your life and certainly as it relates to your English. I'll see you next time. And remember, there were people that came before Columbus.